Google Trends is an online search tool that allows you to understand phrases, subjects, and keywords that people have been searching for in Google. Hi everyone, Stuart here, welcome back. Today I want to talk about how you can grow your small business with Google Trends. Now before we begin, and if you're interested in sales, marketing, and digital solutions for small business, then make sure you smash that subscription button, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Alright, with that being said, let's dive into Google Trends. Okay, now the example I'm going to use today is, let's say you're in the health niche and more specifically you sell protein powder all around the world. What you want to do is pop over to explore and type in your search term protein powder. Then we want to click on worldwide for our target audience and this is the data we want to view. Following this we want to understand the historical data and the global trends for protein powder over a period of five years, which gives us a good range of measurable data. Now Google Trends will give us the movement of the search term protein powder over a five year period. Now this is great news as you can see for people that sell protein powder because there is a positive increase from year on year and the demand for protein powder is increasing. Now as you can see there is a really cool trend here. At the beginning of each year Around January and February, there is a spike for people searching for protein powder and similar terms, meaning there's an increased demand for that protein powder um, at the beginning of every year. Now, people are starting their New Year's resolutions, you know, hoping to kickstart their health, and it's quite funny because you notice that towards the end of the year, people lose that ambition, and around September to December, the demand drops significantly. Now, popularity is measured from zero to 100. So over the year, you can see that demand drops close to 50% from January through to December. Then down below you can see the interest for protein powder by region. Now both New Zealand and Australia as you can see are the most popular for the search term. Both countries are in summer around you know December, January, February, that time of year where there's that spike and that just shows how popular this search term is for those two countries and the other remaining countries. Now you can also choose to select city data rather than region but we'll stick to region. Then below this we have popular topics related to our search term and the related queries. Now both are showing that on the rise, you know everything that's on the rise, you can change this to top, so the top searches um, for these queries or similar queries but for now for this example we'll just stick to rising because we want to know what the rising trends are for the search term. Now the cool thing about Google Trends is you can pop back up to the top and you can type in another related search term that you want to compare with your original search term. For example, I want to do some research around weight loss as that's another service or product that I provide and see where and what people are searching for related to weight loss. Now here you can see a very similar trend with searches increasing at the start of the year and decreasing all the way through to December. This is very similar to protein powder. Now you can also see that weight loss is a more popular search term than protein powder. Below we can see the percentage difference of both search terms. Now as you can see these are the countries that are the most popular um, for this search term weight loss. Now it's quite interesting because it's completely different to the other search term which is protein powder. Now I want to find out exactly what people are searching for in relation to weight loss and protein powder. If I click top for both search terms I can identify which searches I want to target and are related to any of the products that I provide. So back to how Google Trends can help your small business grow. Well, now I know what countries are searching for and buying my types of products. I also know what search terms are most popular and therefore I can integrate these keywords into my website content and marketing. And I also know what time of year is the most profitable and when I should be increasing my marketing budget. I now know who, where, and when I can target my marketing for my protein powder and weight loss products because of all this research we just did with Google Trends.
And there you have it, you now know how to use Google Trends to grow your small business. Now if you got value from this video, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash the subscription button, hit the bell icon, and you won't miss a thing. Alright, with that being said, we'll see you in the next video.